Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using a, a plugin called Divi Supreme Modules. It's a fantastic add-on to the Divi theme that gives you about 40 extra modules. And we're going to show you how you can use any of your modules either from Divi or from Supreme as a widget. This is the bottom widget area right here and there's just a little call to action widget that I've put in there. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Once loaded let's go and choose a module that we want to add. So I'm going to add a new module. DV is standard comes with all these light grey ones. The darker ones are the ones that are added by the Supreme Modules plugin. So today I'm just going to use a call to action, simple Divi call to action module. There we are right there. Great. So as you can see it's put something in there. I'll keep it fairly simple. I'm just going to go into the design. I want a little less padding on there. Because you want to bear in mind what sort of space that you've got and if we're using one of these I've got about a fourth of this section right here. So I'm going to take a bit of the padding away from there. I'm going to go into spacing. Padding left and right I'm going to give it 10 each side. And I'll leave that color and say we have it just change color on hover. So I'll go to background, hover over where it says background in the dark writing and these icons will appear. Hit the arrow, it'll give you an option to hover or desktop. Desktop's when you're not hovering on it. Hover obviously is when you are. So when it hovers let's change it to uh, blue perhaps. Okay that's all I'm going to do. I'll just slow the hover time down just a little bit with the transition because 300 mils is pretty quick. Let's make it about three quarters of a second. 750 mils. Right, there we go. Now here comes the important part. What we need to do is save this to our DB library. So we go up here, go to the little icon there, the little round one, left click, say save module to library. Call it what you want. I'm going to call mine call for call to action. I'm going to save it to library. Don't make it global because you can if you want to if you're using it in the widget that way every time you edit it it'll change change it down there but it's not necessary really for this. So let's save this to the library. Now to enable us to use this as a short code we need to go into the Divi Supreme module. So let's go back to the dashboard and we'll go down to Divi Supreme Pro which is the plugin we're using today. And you want to make sure that you've got enable Divi library shortcodes switched to on purple color like that. When you have save your changes. Now we can go to our Divi library. We go down to Divi below here and go to Divi library right there. That's where anything you save any of your modules that you save that's where they're stored. And now that we enabled that switch in the previous step, it's given us a short code for each of our widgets, or I should say short code for each of our modules. And this will enable us to use them as widgets. So there's one I just created, it's called call. So I'm going to copy that short code, just left click on it, control C or right click and copy, however you like to do yours. Now we'll go to our widget area, let's go to appearance and down to widgets. Now here's my footer areas. I'm going to put it in footer area 3. I'm going to use just a text module to do it or a text widget to do it I should say. There's a text widget. I'm just going to drag it up to the widget area and inside I'm going to paste my shortcode. There it is right there. We can give it a title if you want to. We'll save this. That's all we need to do. If we go back to our page now, let's exit the Visual Builder. 
if you wanted to you can actually delete your modules from the page when you're done if you don't want them to appear on the page and yeah, it takes it the visual builder and take a look and there we are there's our little module as a widget down at the bottom there and when we hover over it it should turn whatever color it was blue I think wasn't it there we go and take about three quarters of a second and you can do that with any module in in the list there the Divi ones and the Divi Supreme ones only thing you want to bear in mind is the amount of space that you've got to display it in so there you go that is how to use any module as a widget so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day